Welcome back to kind of Frontline Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Convergence, the Titans number one. The title of this issue is Try for Justice. It was written by Fabian Nicesa. It was written by Ron Wagner. Inks are by John Marzan Jr. Roy is still reeling from his daughter Leanne's death and is coping with it by helping out at the shelter. Donna is taking pictures and Rory is modeling again. When the dome falls, the the extremists enter Gotham City and make Roy a deal. Now, the story was really good because I felt like in the beginning it was very calm. It was, you know, this is how Roy is dealing with losing land. He's making a difference in the world, not as Red Arrow, not as Arsenal, but as Roy Harper. He's helping out children at the shelter. You know, he's playing with them. He's working through his issues that he has. And he's doing it all for his daughter because he wants to make her death mean something. So he's trying to be a better him, which is really great. And then the dome comes down. And we find out that, you know, Roy actually built a little arsenal cave in Gotham City while he was waiting there because he knew sooner or later stuff was going to hit the fan. And Donna and Roy... Um, Donna and Starfire, they both have this, like, exuberance when they get their powers back. They're, like, flying, they're enjoying it, and they head down to um, where the dome, where the extremists have entered. And <clears throat> when Roy gets there as Arsenal, the extremists tell him, look, we can give you what you want, but you have to take out Donna, Troy, and um, Starfire. And he shows them um, Leanne. And she's like, Daddy, and Roy's thinking, if I do this for her, you know. So he's like torn, and Donna and Roy are like, oh my god, you know, Roy, don't do this. And then with the cybernetic arm, he pulls it up, and it looks like he blasts both of them, Donna and Roy. So it went out on a bang, literally. This just blew my mind, this issue. The story... Uh, I'm giving the story five stars. I just loved it. The art, very great art. It reminds me of the pre um, Flashpoint fifty um, issues. Um, everything felt like it was right there from Donna's classic costume, you know, the black one, and the playfulness that her and Rory had with that. That was just an awesome scene. So I'm giving the art four and a half stars. So with the overall. I just love it. I mean, like I said, there's playfulness with Roy and Donna that I just loved. There was that time in the DCU when Donna and Roy, they had this chemistry and this relationship that, you know, very few people have. And those two have it. And when they were on in this book, it was on. Fabian nailed it solid. So with the story getting five stars and the arc in four and a half stars i give this issue four and three quarter stars and i say pick it up i mean titans fan donna fan roy fan good story fan you can pick this up and enjoy this issue well those are my thoughts now i want to know what yours are in the comments below also like this video subscribe to comic frontline check out and subscribe to my channel the comic book theater check out comic frontline the site for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews. For even more news on all things related to comics, comicrelated.com is your source for all your comic book needs with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.